que onda wey? Welcome to this player Gus Hess where we're taking a look at Andres Cubas, the 20 year old center defense in mid who has a 73 overall. So he was a very good player in FIFA 16, really enjoyed using him in that game. Looks very good this year also. He's 5 foot 7 right footed, low high work rates, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skimmo. So from the start, very nice physical stats with exception exception of the strength. High agility bounce, I think really helps out You know, uh, in the midfield uh, from what I've noticed so far in this game. But he's also a decent passer, decent tackling, marking also. Aggression interceptions are pretty solid. The stamina is, is not too bad either. Will certainly grow over the years also. So very good base stats and certainly has you know the, the a lot of a room to improve. And you see it especially uh, in the marking and passing stats. And of course, stamina will improve a bit also as they generally do for midfielders, uh, center defensive mids and center mids in this game. And of course, the strength goes up a bit also. Uh, he's not very strong, but I think you know having that high agility, bouncing a solid pace, the high stamina, and good marking, tackling stats really kind of made up for it. He was just was like a little pit bull in there, getting into, into those tackles. Uh, he's not very strong, but you know, just again, those other abilities really kind of made it for, in my opinion. But the passing uh, is looking very good at the moment. Tackling not too bad either. Uh, marking is moving up. Also, you can see now 92 stand tackle, 89 slide tackle with 88 stamina. Very good at Julian balance. Jumping has even gone up a bit also, so can help out a little bit with winning those headers on occasion, getting into those gritty little moments in the midfield. But uh, moving forward, he played some very good passes, as you can see in this highlight. Very good work from him to create that little chance there. And you see him again pushing forward more, playing these long passes. Really was able to dictate the game in the midfield, whether he was, you know, winning uh, the ball with tackles or, you know, playing uh, very good passes. Uh, and you see him again doing a good job tracking back here, winning the ball, like just getting to that little tackle, which is enough little being a pass, basically tracking back, winning the ball, uh, and again, being able to push the ball forward. So good work from him being able to track back like that. Uh, he felt so good, on, so good on the ball also. He's pretty agile. Uh, he doesn't have the highest dribbling. I think that Jody Bounce did make up for it. Uh, you can see him getting into those uh, the little spaces in the midfield and eventually playing passes going forward like that. So uh, good work from him all around. Really enjoyed uh, my time using him. So a lot of fun to play with. Uh, and you can definitely see it in some of these highlights. But uh, you can see him now again getting uh, getting forward, playing nice ball over the top. As you get a few more highlights to show here, uh, just because I mean he's that type of player. The, the passes were lovely. Uh, was able to really create so many little opportunities with that passing and of course be able to really be a good two-way player tracking back then of course uh, when he does get the ball he can push forward with those passings see some more uh, gritty stuff winning the ball here with that tackle to really create an opportunity so he turned into an amazing player 84 overall as a CDM age 26 is what he would cap out at as you can see some little improvements here as he of course he reached that 84 overall at age 25 but some huge improvements to the stamina we gonna take a look at the comparison the jumping went up quite a bit of course aggression interceptions moving up and then passing ball control marking and tackling some of the main stats to improve there. Uh, so, wonderful player. Uh, you can see how much he grew and you can see his play information again. Also, see if he's picked up any specialties. So, he does have the tackling and acrobat specialties. Definitely well deserved with the tackling specialty. So, he's 79 as a center mid, 84 as a CDM, 79 as a center back, 82 as a fullback, and 82 as a wing back. So, definitely can contribute uh, on the back line as a fullback or a wing back. Be very efficient there with the type of marking and tackling he has. And, of course, that little agility balance and, and decent pace to track back and of course the stamina also so wonderful player with 93 agility 91 balance 81 jumping 91 stamina 81 aggression 84 interceptions 86 long pass 90 short pass then 94 stand tackle 89 slide tackle wonderful stats there I definitely think you could turn him into even a more attacking minded player uh, you could try to train up that dribbling and uh, you, that'll just make him even better uh, if you train up that dribbling a bit because he could definitely get forward a bit more even be like a cam or a center mid uh, of course he'd be solid as a center mid regardless List, but uh, even better uh, when he goes forward with that dribbling uh, and really be able to be an absolute complete player. So it's definitely up to you how, uh, if you want to train him eventually or how you want to use him. But I personally thought he was best as a CDM or as a center mid, especially as a center mid getting forward and utilizing that nice short passing. So I uh, definitely think you guys should take a look at him. He's a wonderful player, great two-way uh, midfielder who can also slide in as a fullback or a wingback. With that, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll be sending out now, and I'll catch you guys later.